Unmask the mystery. Mastering passive voice with modal verbs. Hello, language learners. Today we're going to dive deep into a fascinating part of English grammar. Passive voice with modal verbs. It may sound a little tricky, but don't worry, we're going to break it down and make it easy to understand. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create sentences in the passive voice using modal verbs like a pro. Let's get started. Passive voice is a structure where the subject receives the action, unlike the active voice where the subject performs the action. For example, the ball was hit by John is in the passive voice. Modal verbs, on the other hand, express necessity, possibility, permission, or ability. Some common modal verbs include can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, must. When these two concepts merge, we get the passive voice with modal verbs, where a modal verb is used in a passive voice sentence. For example, the ball must be hit by John. The structure of a sentence in passive voice with modal verbs is subject plus modal verb plus B plus past participle. The modal verb conveys the mode or manner of the action, and the B verb and the past participle form the passive verb phrase. Let's consider an example. The work can be done by tomorrow. Here, can is the modal verb, B is the auxiliary verb, and done is the past participle. Now that we've learned about the formation of passive voice with modal verbs, let's test our understanding with a short quiz. I'll provide the sentence in active voice with a modal verb. Your job is to convert it into passive voice. 1. They will finish the project next week. 2. We should clean our rooms every day. 3. He can solve this math problem. Take a moment to convert these sentences, and once you're done, check your answers below. 1. The project will be finished next week. 2. Our rooms should be cleaned every day. 3. This math problem can be solved by him. And there we have it. I hope this video has clarified the concept of passive voice with modal verbs for you. Remember, the key to mastering any language skill is practice, so keep experimenting with these structures in your everyday English. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more English grammar insights. Happy learning!